Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Outer Worlds. This should be Outer Worlds part 8. It has been a very long time since I last played the game. About almost two whole months. I know I've been mentioning a lot of a, a lot of mass effects between uh, during the series as a whole. But in these two months I've played and finished the first and second game. I've bought the legendary edition since it was on sale. I haven't started the third one yet. Mainly because I'll start playing it after my game pass has ended and some more Final Fantasy XIV since Endwalk is releasing soon as well. Wait, what, today is November 8th, last time I played was September 15th. I don't really remember much of this game but let's just continue from where we left off. Right, we killed a lot of people here. Unwanted, that was not part of the plan. If I could have loaded back to the older version of the of safe, I would have done that. But sadly, there was like maybe a whole hour back or something. I'm not looking forward to replaying a whole hour of the game. Oh. Uh, I have to get back, I have to get used to the game again. If I remember correctly, Parvati was had a liking to this professor here, to the scientist or whatever, or engineer. Smell that fresh air? Almost better than being outside. What do you need, Captain? <laughs> We've already had done everything. Okay. Let's see. I still can't figure out how to get there. I really cannot figure it out. Hmm, journal? Side quest, main quest. How about this? Can I track this? Where is it? Up there. How do I get up there? If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. There. Let's see what you Fresh. got. Hmm. Do I need any of this? No, I never used these pins. You've been following that series, the hunt for the Wimbro. Sublight must be organized and organized crime. It's an elevator here. That slogan. You reckon we can shop here, or is it all spoke for? Are we gonna get in trouble today? Not that I want to, just see. What the? Oh. Not bad. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Sure you are. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Go aside. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials, 
If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I think I got one last time. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Reputation increased, okay. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I have to be very careful I ain't doing worried this. if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Okay, let's see. Got any leads on salvage? Doesn't even have to be broke yet. We'll take it. Is there a balcony or seems like it? Alright then. Let's head on back then. Sublight agent. Yeah, boss? I'm gonna keep them with me. CNP Borthworth. It's not for me. No idea what I was doing, but whatever. Let's get on going. Rizzo Spectrum Bunker. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My cargo's worth a lot of money. You're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yeah, let's get one with it. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. 
Okay. So where is... Okay, here. This one is dangerous, eh? Alright, so we just go to the safe way. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Nice one. Let me change... Okay, we are following the main quest now. Cool. Let's see. What about the Felix, um... Uh, how do I do this? Sam, you. Alright. I wanna check out how Sam is. Oh, actually, wait. Isn't Sam the aggressive one? Do I want him with me? Sam was the supposed aggressive one. Let's switch it out. Also, just a robot. I don't think it would give me any extra dialogue. Let's see. Stellar Bay. What is this? Elevator. Find a flaw in your acrophobia. After repeatedly falling from gate heights, you no longer function well when the ground is far beneath you. Really? This is a thing? Sure, why not? Just check again with this one. Uh, let's take more damage. Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Sure. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Yes, we are. Let's see. There, you seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Wish more folk could say that. Gets awful quiet guarding a landing pad that never gets used. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets awful traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. Show me. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay. Home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? I couldn't really say I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. What do we have here? 
some drinks. Give me stat bonuses or whatnot. Some helmets. How do I compare again? Let's see. Oh, can I compare with what I own? Ooh. Sell this. Can I sell you? How do I sell? Sell junk. Sell you. I'm now eight. Same with D1, it's not much anymore. I'll buy all the ammo I can get. How much does this cost? Not much. We have a lot of money. How do I compare the stuff with what I have equipped? You don't look like Sublight. Must be freelance. Laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth... What I am doing, sir, is enjoying the moment. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's best. Days of consumption and culture. Look, you're making me mad. Not gonna one from you. Sister lady, let's get a drink first. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Nice. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few and telling them myself. Now what can I do for you? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? No, that's great. Let's see. Let's talk to her now. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding. All over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the... Tell the blood from the mud. Don't interrupt, it's rude. Oops. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Let's buy another drink. Outstanding! What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? It is a shithole. It's a free shithole, though. Plenty of ways to blaze your own trail. Folks seem to like that. Besides, the booze is good. Something about that fish oil. Cheers! Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Oh. 
Oh, you want information for nothing. Very well. I am no match for your nego... Nego... Your yammering? Here's how to get to Devil's Peak. Go south. Along the road, not the river. Look for the mountain with devil horns. And watch out for raps. And mana swamps. And marauders. And sulfur pits. And... You know it'd really be safer if I went with you. You want to reconsider, so bring me up. Fine, fine, fine. Outstanding! Should Our dispensary fun, here with us. maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pill. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Hey. It's right around the corner, it seems. Or not. Why are the gods here? We're not the best equipped, but scouting for rats keeps us on our toes. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. Well. New business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. And a sense of humor, too. Did you hear that, Celia? I heard it, sir. But I'm sure you didn't come here to trade witticisms. Hmm? No, you're here for business. Going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Because he's scared to go it alone. You need the board to hold your hand and tell you everything's gonna be okay. Ain't that right? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. You talk like Graham. Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? I used to be young and idealistic too, but you can't run a city on high-minded ideals. I have people to look after. I need to be practical. That's why Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Are you out of your mind? You can't just go crawling back to your old masters. But we can't continue to subsist like this either. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. 
With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in, these days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Can I copy those dangerous things? And I would just want to copy those files for myself to keep. Velma seen out of sort. Works to you? She's always cranky. You are on a main quest, right? Yes. Oh no, this is what I want. More than usual. Get her with us. If Zelma's Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Of course she don't. Well, I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh, you flattering old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll, eventually. In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the Flower of Enlightenment. On the way, he tried some... rather daring substance combinations. I don't want to use intimidation. Sounds like the run. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. You're gonna go tussle with some raptodons? Because I've been practicing my dropkick. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Chin up, dearie. <laughs> if Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she Not much interest in us happened this episode, so I'll just let it run on run that long. Where are you? And eyes, right here. Please, will someone help me? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away. Don't you tell me to calm down. I. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I w Oh, law, oh, Captain. A youngster won't... Please... W Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy... Okay. Let's go.
Oh wow. Oh, that is so big. Why are you so big? That's just insane. It fills up my whole screen. I always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds. Wait, what's that smell? in here save I'll do that do the music box it seems No damage. Let me explore every little corner. Someone's necklace, okay. My sniper is empty, my sword rifle is empty. Some light ammo, a top hat, some nice hats, even. Awesome. Scythe. Colossus. Cool. <laughs> the volumes are really loud. I can say really loud, but no wonder everything is on max. Drop it up nice and low. So neat. Menu vol sounds. How do I get there? Uh, transition, eh? The inside? Okay. A visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, come in! Come in! We're armed to the teeth? What's he gonna do? Kill us with generosity? That's the spirit! Now come in! Make yourselves comfortable! What is going on? Excellent! You've arrived at just the right time. My wife is putting the finishing touches on dinner. 
Please make yourself at home until it's ready. I'm scared. On I think I just lost my. Where the wife might be. What is this? He's not alone. Oh, hello there. You come for, for a uh, dinner? Sh sure. That's nice. We had someone else over uh, a week ago or yesterday. I forget. Now, there's no call for being rude, Captain. Maybe he's just having a hard day. You don't know. You got a funny way of putting things. I used to be good with words. But it feels like there's this fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? What? Can we talk more after dinner? I usually feel better after dinner. More fog. Mother. What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the Eternal provides, does it not? The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the Divine. And we were made to spread it across the stars. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, the universe provides for us, as your being here proves. Just that your presence here is a gift to us, and one that we don't take for granted. Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? What do you regret coming in here? Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? What is wrong with your skin? That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. They killed him? Mom and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. We wouldn't want to intrude. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Liar! You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? These people are very weird. Nothing here. Oh, I can look from here. A lot of blood on the walls. I think it looks like blood. I wonder if I can get the house key somehow. Spacer's choice pills, they cure all your ills. You must be famished. 
Is it sticking again? I'm afraid enough. There's a bit of a trick to jimmying it open. Oh. Please, there's no need for incivility. I promise I'll get the door open once we've had our meal. Until then, why don't you stretch... Hey, what the? Nice to meet you. Wait. I did hope I you already favor say that? catch up and bully cheddar. We have. You know what? Safe game. I'm gonna hot safe. Did it work? Yeah. To make do with what we can find. Let's see. The rhyme space is choice pills they cure all your ill okay I want to open the door upstairs something to him. Save the house, eh? So they are actually even hit this man's body parts or the head in this case. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. How many scopes do I have? Okay. Can I unlock anything with three points? I don't think so. Maybe here. Any damage increased? Increase a bit of damage. Set. Wait. Did I lose everything I put in? Then apply is E. Yes. Very good. Hmm. Where did you go? Oh, okay, that's another exit, eh? Those people are so, so weird. I'll just leave them be. It's probably even better if I just killed them all. Them more. <laughs> Who's attacking me? I'm Keith. What this? Nice one. Everyone, all right? Okay. Is there anything else I can do here? 
I think you want me to go back. Uh, quest type location region yes this tree is also back there so I don't want so it's more outside how far are you that's very far away is there anything closer not this not this. That one is half the distance. Should I really not kill this family? I think it would be best if I did that. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Of course not. What better end for the day than a meal around the family table? And what... Quickly, my dear. He's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Don't worry. We'll make this quick. I think are you. Going on with him. Can you not die? Thank you. Can I rest, revive my team or something? people just absolutely not good is anyone else alive can we still everything now Nice. Sure, Cap. Here goes nothing. Nice. Okay, so 
dying quick. Must have a very weak shotgun equipped. Okay, hold on. Uh, how do I do this again? What's my shotgun at? Oh, it's only 86. No wonder. Can we do that again? No wonder my shotgun did no damage at all. This one does like 10 times the damage it seems. Whoa. Oh, so life. The things are both dead, so I guess they are just as useless as in my spec one. Another one coming. Any more? No? Cool. Where are we headed? Hey, you don't have anything to say? How the, why would I have gotten an arms key? We enter this building. What's that? <laughs> Delete all. <coughs> Oh, there's many more. Why is there so many? The sniper does no damage either. Forty-five. It's up here. It's so many necklaces. Ah, hello, hello. I hear boots out there. Wait, can I ask for boots? Watcher, you're calling a hullhead door. There's more than one of you? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up, then rapid on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and, um, now the door's locked. Little help? Mister, 
My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Sure. Probably. I don't know. When I try to... My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. But, I mean, okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. I never thought of that. Hide in the shower, I guess. Get me out of here! What do you mean? It's locked. Wait, upward? Oh, my eternal soul, it worked! Really? That was it? Up with. Oh, phew, thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. How would I kill her? Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy, and <laughs> hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Ah, shit. I wouldn't have agreed to be saved if I'd known that. All right, here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Lots of loot in here, very nice. And she said they had enough friends, full of stuff here. What is this? The intrepid crew of the unreliable brave the wild. Alright. Where to now? Ah, ah that hurt. That's really not cool. Where does that even lead me to? Inside the walls, it seems. A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway? What can I do for you? You forget? I see. And was his deli- He's not the brightest of minds, but he- That's not what I would call it. Still, I had him posted on the landing pad in hopes that he'd stay out of everyone's way. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blank switch. Try to control. Have you any idea how powerful this is? See, Celia? He gets it. S the world isn't changed with guns and speeches. Hearing that caused me. Sorry, Celia's always chiding me about my word choice. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. You what? What Mr. Nandi means is that we have some rather momentous information to deliver to the board. Or we will, with your help. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. The board just can't let Monarch go, huh? If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to... encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. That's part of the problem. She has certain 
ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. We really don't need to discuss this now, Celia. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Of course you are. Oh, man. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. I didn't mean for any harm to come to you. This has been my albatross. I give MSI everything. My work. Nonsense. Look what you've done here, Mr. Sanjar. You got a whole township running. Oh, you're kind. But you wouldn't say that if you saw our balance sheets. Oh, perhaps they were right. After all, what have I been... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's... You'd head south along the road and look for a mountain to the west. Not that I'd advise it. But if you insist on going, I'd recommend... If you can keep her sober. Do we really have to get her sober, huh? Right. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, we have to talk to the lady this time. Greetings, and welcome to Mon. What? Can you know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man because I told. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help, but I'll warn you. Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it? E not that I got not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on a on acid. And um, what though? 20 bottles worth adds up. That's for sure. You'd think Sebastian would give me a dis. Oh, I don't mind. I usually buy things one at a time. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this villa. That's what it sounds like. Sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad. Oh. Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know, kind of like, plus he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. You think that's what I'm looking? Sorry. Okay then. Uh, seems like it's here. It's like wrapped in here. Oh, it does work. Is this Sebastian? No. Velma. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. That's what Braxton is. He's our fish doctor. Hey, what the? He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I would if I weren't busy here picking up his slack. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, 
Maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Nothing that's been. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Captain herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. This again? I swear, this is the last... You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. Oh no. That about cover it? Sure can. If you want to pay... Fair enough. The damn thing's been a headache anyway. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Cellar Bay. Ha Stealing such a... N and yeah, let's just say I've noticed a... We're not like those corporate towns. Bes or uh just Caleb Harris going through all the chat options so the job's easy but you're not doing it he and his whole crew walked out say they won't come back unless I pay them more because we've got a budget all right and in case you haven't no not on monarch tell me about it Some more experience. Uh. Let's see, I really like damage. I will do. <clears throat> We have here nothing special. Sorry, can't be else reading this. Let's run out. And then machine. Buy all the ammo. I just sell for you. Let's check my clothing. Let's see, sword drive on eighty three. Um, machine gun from three hundred twenty. That you to junk. That's my rifle seventy one. Out to junk. Out to junk. Flamethrower, damn. Hunting rifle is only 74. Hmm. Yes, I really don't know what I want. Maybe frame flow then. I have here 26 and 13. 26, 22. 
29 helmets. Yeah, hold on. Let me check junk, junk, everything. So the junk. My armor is only twenty one. This is thirty six. Minus stealth, more block, and never stealth, anyways. So it sounds pretty good, but. Alright, let's keep going. That's the exit to this place. Where are you? If you want to talk to the boss, she's in the back of her house. So I should leave me out of here now. Good. Wanna make sure I don't miss anything? Yeah, it's club. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Nice. Both get experience, wow. 500 card breeze, those will look good, okay. That leads me out of here, that's not what I want right now. This way. Did I get what Hello you wanted? Again. Such a pity, isn't it? But I suppose it's an important re Let's see. What do I need to get? To, to, to do to get these pills. I got a key. Nice. I got the keys. Come to share a secret with Auntie Abigail? Uh, I guess not. Have you talked to Seb Thank you again for retreat. Anyway? Hey, I'm gonna give this to Nyoke and call it... The end for this episode? Ah, the charmer! Welcome back! Drink, chat, or business? All of the above? More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it here. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Excuse me? Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. Yes, you mentioned that. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open.
A real big game hunter. You gotta give me some pointers. So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Yunka. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe. Even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. Alright then, I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time we're gonna start out with Sebastian before we head out. He's right there. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It feels good to finally be back in progress in this game again. Can't wait to finish it just because there's some other games I wanna really play and I don't wanna suddenly stop this and go somewhere else. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.